Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about the fourth phase of meiosis 1, which is telophase 1. Before this, we have talked about the prophase 1, which was the first phase. In that phase, we have seen that the chromatin network got condensed into the proper chromosome-like structure, that is thick, short chromosome-like structures. After that, it was followed by the metaphase where the homologous chromosomes which were paired in the case of the prophase, they got gets aligned at the central or the equatorial position of the cell. That was followed by anaphase where the homologous pair got separated. Now after anaphase, it is followed by the stage called telophase 1. In telophase 1, the changes which are going to happen in case of this phase is absolutely reverse to the changes that happened in case of prophase 1. Here, the formation of daughter nucleus with nuclear membrane takes place and initially in the prophase 1, we have seen that the, daughter, the nuclear membrane, it gets dissolved. We have also seen that the nucleolus got dissolved in case of prophase 1, but here the nucleolus starts appearing again. The disappearance of the astral rays and the spindle fibers, the spindle fibers which were being formed at the stage of prophase 1 gets disappeared as you can see over here. Here you can see the nuclear membrane has also formed. Now what happens the decondensation of the chromosomes by hydration. So water is added into this chromosomal structures and they start decondensing. So from proper chromosomal structures, they again get reversed back to the DNA network like structure which was initially present at the starting of prophase 1. The chromosomes become long thread like chromatin fibers as we have already discussed. So in this video, we have talked about the fourth phase of uh, meiosis 1 which is telophase 1. Here we have seen that these are the uh, activities the cell is performing is absolutely the reverse than the activities performed by the cell in prophase 1. I hope you have understood and like this video. Thank you.